Welcome to the MGA. We're sorry your golf game sucks, but at least now you've found your people. This is a quick video guide to help you get set up on the site and entered in your first MGA event. If you haven't already done so, log into your account. You'll notice it takes you to the chapter page of the chapter you specified during registration. If you picked the wrong chapter or moved since signing up, you can change this in your user menu by clicking Edit Profile. Before we do that though, the first and most important thing you need to do is click on Edit Account. Go to the email address box and replace the fake email that you signed up with with one that you actually check. Chapter leaders will contact you through the site and that will be their only means of notifying you about tournaments and chapter updates. The MGA is anti-spam and we have no idea how to sell your information, so put a real address in there. You may also want to set up your email so it allows incoming messages from at mgatour.com. While you're there, send us an email if your shipping address is different of that on PayPal, otherwise your membership card may never show up. The next step you'll want to take is to update your profile so your fans can read about you. Go down to Edit Profile and click on that. Go ahead and start from the top of the page and work your way down. It's important to upload a user image. This image will be used on your membership card. If you don't upload one, you will be sent a membership card with a picture of a monkey playing golf. As you can see, this is also the page where you pick your chapter allegiance. As far as the information below, fill in as much or as little as you like. Most of our members are pretty funny and we enjoy reading about them on their profile pages. When you're happy with everything, click save. The third thing you should do is enter five golf scores. The site won't even let you enter a tournament until you do this because it has no way of establishing a handicap for you. Go to enter scores in your user menu to get started. Try and scrounge up a few old scorecards to get started or just do it based on memory. Try and remember the date you played and select that from the calendar. Then pick the course. Next up, you can select the tees that you played and enter the front and back nine. If it's an old score and you're doing it based on memory, just enter two figures that add up to the total score. Rating and slope are very important for calculating handicap. They're always on the scorecard, on the course website, or if you're playing somewhere that doesn't have rating and slope, just use our averages. All right, score successfully entered. You can see I have one score in now. I'm gonna put four more in to establish a handicap. Now that I have five scores in, I'm gonna to go to my profile and I'll be provided with a handicap. The more scores you have in, the more accurate this handicap will be. If you have penalty strokes and you don't know why, click on this link to find out. Once you have a handicap established, you are eligible to enter events. If your chapter has any events posted, they will appear in your upcoming events column on the right side when you are logged into the site. Simply click on the name of the tournament to see more information. On the event page, you can see the date, the start time, the purse, the cost of the event. You're also going to be able to see a description of the event. And if you scroll down even further, you'll be able to see where the event is being played and the address. You can see people who are registered for the event already, a map, and even get directions to the course. If you scroll back up towards the top of the event, you'll see a registration deadline. Assuming it's before that deadline, you can click register now as long as you're logged into the site. After you register, your profile picture will now appear down below and you will be on the list of registered players. This is why it is important to have a real email on the site. When the chapter leader goes to contact registered players with information about this event, your real email will now be on the list and you will get to see the important information. Make sure to check back on the event page as the tournament gets closer to see tee times and pairings. Also visible when you're logged in are the quick links. These are all pretty self-explanatory and just help you get around the site faster. The only one that doesn't explain itself is provide feedback. If you click on that, it will take you to a form where you can give us some feedback if you find something that isn't quite right with the site. 
The site's new for 2012, and we're sure we'll need to iron out a few things as the season goes along, so we appreciate any help. Just be as specific as possible when reporting something so we can look into it. If you're a Top Medio member, you'll want to pick your fantasy team as soon as possible. You'll only score points for your players going forward from the date that you lock that team in. So go ahead, get down to that tab and get on it. If you're a basic member and you want to upgrade to Top Medio, you can do that at the top of your profile page. Well, that's more than enough information to get you started. Have a look around the site and always feel free to hit us up via the contact page. We actually do respond to the contact page. We hope you have a great time with the MGA and that your golf remains bad enough to keep you around for a long, long time. Hit them well, but not too well.